today I'm gonna share with you some information about sumac. Sumac is kind of a spice that grows on a small bushes and also some of these small trees could reach three meter in height. And the fruits are red and arranged in clusters like the grape shape. It's the same plant family like the poison ivy and the difference that the fruit of the poison ivy stay white or green. So we are talking about our spice, the sumac, the edible one. The part we use is the peel of the seeds, not the fruit. That's why the berries are dried. Then they take the peel of the seeds. Of course, the farmers who are just responsible for that and have uh, farms for sumac it gives the acidic flavor so sometimes we add it as a substitute or to enhance the lemon juice or the vinegar taste the most popular use of sumac is in salads such as fettuch the famous mediterranean salad and also there's some kind of dish like chicken and onion roll which we call musahan or musahan and also we add it to zatar mix this is very famous and also on top of falafel like some kind of seasoning it's delicious it's available in eastern markets and online it has some diuretic properties and could help in stomach and bowel upsets of course and there is something important about sumac it's very high and rich in antioxidants so in some countries they drink the sumacade which kind of a drink and for this i'm gonna use the seeds and the spice itself because i couldn't get the uh, fresh fruits online i couldn't find it so i'm gonna soak like two tablespoons of each in some uh, the drink normal water and i'm gonna leave it overnight if the temperature is high in the kitchen, put it in the fridge until the next day. The antioxidant, we can't get it from the sumac because we need a huge amount. And we usually we add just a pinch over our salad, which is not enough. So I'm trying to find a way to just increase my dose of the antioxidants which is very important to you know fight aging and cancer disease so in the blender the next day i'm gonna blend the mixture until i'm getting the sumac juice if you can call it like that and of course they use the whole tree they use the wood for to make some tools they use the um, sumac itself for the treatment of leather because of the strong red color this is a strong tree grows almost everywhere you can use it in your backyard it's very pretty to look at especially the clusters it's like grape clusters shape very red and smell nice so after this i'm gonna just strain the liquid or the juice through the coffee filter and this will honestly take some time so you can just skip the filter and use the strainer directly it's up to you in that in that case you will find some sumac pieces inside the juice nothing wrong with that yeah I got bored and I just removed the filter very quickly now I'm gonna stir to get the liquid however that sumac could be easily adulterated in markets it's not always original so they get any cheap I don't know substances and just color it in red so you should find a good quality brand or something like this you can distinguish ask someone or someone who knows about it or just because of the smell and the and the color the smell is very um specific for some mac so you can try to get the seeds from um, the market or online and just you take out the peels of it 
so now I'm gonna use this liquid as a substitute of vinegar to just disinfect the vegetable I'm soaking some cilantro here and also as you know we can just add a pinch to our salad and as uh, for the acidic taste we can just use instead of the lemon juice you can use the sumac this juice I already made just like that the same sourness and also I have this ho my homemade pineapple juice you can find the link for it down in the description box I put some of the sumac juice in the ice cube mold and I'm gonna use it in this case I'm gonna take a higher dose of the antioxidants I'm gonna make my juice cooler and also I'm gonna enjoy this is one way to just add more sumac and just use the benefits out of it very useful plant I think it's underestimated in our cuisine we should like use it more of course above the falafel it's another dimension for the taste it's very good with za'atar and za'atar is kind of herb like thyme or oregano it's very delicious I'm gonna talk about it in the future hopefully oh this is my video i hope that you enjoy it so please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget for watching see you bye bye